My name is Zubair Shafiq. I am Assistant Professor of Computer Science at the University of Iowa. My project with uh, Data Transparency Lab tries to understand the arms race between ad blockers and anti-ad blockers on the web. So ad blockers are the tools which are used by hundreds of millions of users to block ads and trackers when they browse the web. Many websites have started to detect ad block users and stop them from accessing any content unless they disable their ad blocker or they whitelist the website. So these websites are essentially trying to undermine the effectiveness of ad blockers. So the goal of our project is to understand this arms race between ad blockers and anti-ad blockers. And then also to develop new ways to strengthen ad blockers to make stealthy ad blockers which are more robust to anti-ad. So transparency is an important first step. It is not the end goal in my personal opinion. So transparency is important to give users an idea about what information is collected about them and how that information is being used. Once we have transparency about data collection and data use for common users, we can then empower users to make choices. So I think the keyword here is control. Transparency leads to control. So users can make informed choices. They can control what information is collected, how that information is used in a much better way and more informed. This was my first Data Transparency Lab conference. And the best thing about this conference was the mix of people from industry, not only big companies, established companies, but also there were a bunch of startups, there were people from the open source community, there were obviously uh, policy makers, folks from the FTC, folks from the FCC, and also from the EU, and obviously the academics. So I think this combination of people from different areas with different backgrounds coming together to talk about privacy and transparency, I think that was a unique thing about this conference, which is very exciting in my opinion. Even though the present about personal data transparency is very bleak in my opinion. I think in future, we should hope that this would improve. There is a lot of um, awareness. There is, there's an awareness campaign going on from regulators, from companies, from privacy advocates to make users more conscious about how their data is being collected and used. So I think as this um, engagement increases and users get more aware about this, they will start to make more informed choices and hopefully this will improve the landscape going forward in the near future. I'm a big fan of the Data Transparency Lab. So in addition to funding, I think the most important thing that they provide is the feedback on the project. So they help us, they really helped us in setting up the priorities about which aspects of the project to focus on. And also help us go the extra mile by figuring out how and what data we want to release to the user community so it, it can be reused by uh, other researchers and also helps us to focus on developing open source tools which again then can be used reused by the broader community and can help end users so i think that is an aspect which generally is missing in the research community in the academic community but dtl guys were very helpful in making us think about that transaction while we conduct work on this project. There are two main challenges. The first is the technical challenges. And I think this is where we fit in as academics and researchers. We are trying to develop better tools, better technical tools to increase our transparency for users, increase control for users. So I think this is where I am very hopeful. There will be a lot of progress in the coming years. But the second aspect, which is relatively more uncertain, is the regulatory aspect. So um, the political environment in the US and the EU and some other places in the world, it's not very stable. And these regulations actually, they come in and then they go away and there, it's very little uniformity. So I think hopefully if we can get our act together and have sensible regulations, which again can empower the technical resources and technical tools that we are building would be really helpful going forward. So I'm an optimist on personal data transparency. So I really think the technical progress that we as a research community have been making would hopefully improve the situation in the next five years. So the tools, privacy preserving tools, which are right now used by millions of users, hopefully 
their adoption would increase and these technical tools will empower users to not only be more transparent about what information is being collected about them and how it is used, but also to impose control over whether they want to restrict this information leakage or inform information use in certain ways.